Hello and welcome to another IC3D Quick Start Bite. Today we're going to be taking a look at adding our models to our model library so that we can use them for future projects. I've got this model here that I'm going to go ahead and delete the aspects that I don't want and I'm going to import the packer into our model library. So let's go ahead and open up our model data. And from here, you're going to notice if you select each material, each material will highlight where it is. So what we want to find are the materials associated with these bottles and simply select the top one holding shift, select the bottom, and then hit the little uh, delete button here. That will strip our model just to the bare bones of what we want. And now we're going to simply go over to our model library, select our pack, and then head over down, head over to the top right of the model library and select the option, add model to library. Select our pack and then head over to the top right of the model library window and hit the add selected model to library. From here, we can name the model, whatever we'd like. And I can go ahead and add it to any kind of custom category you'd like. I'll go ahead and make a beer category. Hit save and automatically your hit save and automatically that model will be placed into the model library ready to go for any future project. To access that model, simply open up a new project or have a previous project you've been working on, head over to the model library, find the filter that the group name you named, for us it's beer. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that packer and simply drag it to the scene. And as you can see, it is very easy to reuse models inside of IC3D for future projects. I hope you've enjoyed this IC3D tutorial. Stay tuned for a lot more.